So, uh, Tyler Hilton and Paul Johansson, both characters from uh, past seasons of One Tree Hill who are back this year as regulars. How's it feel to be back? Tyler, you want to start? Um, it's amazing. It's like all the good parts of going back to high school, like, you know, as a even after you're out of college, sometimes it seems lame. No, this is all the good parts of that. It's like a victory lap through Wilmington. And then plus I get to see Paul again and all the cool people. Paul, how does it feel to be back as a, as a regular again, season nine? Well, I'm not sure I would have come back if Mark wouldn't have come up with the idea that, you know, half of the cast was going to be werewolves and half would be vampires. <laughs> That was a really good move. I think, I think it's. Has, I haven't seen it done yet. I, I don't. I think it's fresh. Yeah. I think the vampire theme is 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 new, and I think there's a long way to go with it. So. Cool. It's nine seasons in. I mean, at some point, someone's got to turn into a werewolf. Yeah, we're long overdue for that supernatural move. Uh, and uh, and Paul, how does it feel to uh, be working with Tyler? And how how is Tyler as an actor? You've directed him and you act opposite. Well, I, I think as from an acting point of view, I think. There was some really good direction the other day, and Mark had just wanted, told him, you know, don't upset Paul, don't look him in the eyes, don't talk to him when you're not shooting, G give him lots of space, yeah. don't try to walk next to him or sit next to him at the lunch line. Yes. And I think that the fact that he's given me a lot of that freedom, you know, to not have to be personally close to Tyler yeah. in my own time, gives me the, uh, the ability to work with Tyler in professional situations. Yeah, yeah. They warned you on the like, don't look Paul in the eye. Oh yeah. Like, oh for sure. Don't don't smell Paul. Actually, don't anybody you. watching this right now, I'd prefer if you just look away from. Just look at me. The the computer or the TV. Yeah. While we're doing this interview, it just it, I find it offensive. Yeah. Uh, it steals my soul, and as an actor, I need to it, protect that. Sounds crazy, but then look how great he is as Dan Scott. So, it's true. Uh, Tyler, uh, how's Paul as a director, and, and how is acting opposite him? Besides, you know, all the rules. Just... Um, it's uh, awesome. Actually, I have to say, to, for my character, for Chris Keller, I always say seriously, it's. I love my favorite is working with Paul because um, my character is like I don't know, so funny and douchey and all that stuff. And uh, Paul is funny and douchey. <laughs> no, no, no. no for some reason, Paul like every time around him makes me feel. I don't know, the character just seems more funny to me for some reason, I don't know why. But actually the first time I even heard about coming back to the show, Mark told me the first scene of, uh, or on the first page of episode one, was Paul and I sitting in a car with guns. And it's like, all right, leave the killing to me. Chris Kelly and you have like to this. really admire. And I was like, what? <laughs> Tyler's come as an actor. You know, since English isn't even his first language, <laughs> I, I think that the uh, you know the progress he's made, we're all pretty proud of him. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> can you tell me about these scenes with the guns and all that? Yeah. And the, uh, yeah, how fun is it to? Well, again, you know, when <laughs> when you know when people start to molt and turn into their other supernatural selves. We need to be protected. Yeah, you there's know. silver bullets. No, silver yeah. bullets. To, uh, some garlic. Some garlic. Yeah. Uh, this is the first time I've ever held the shotgun, and I, I, let alone held one on camera. So but, I'm hoping for a yeah. lot of Jason Statham roles after this. Those kind of things is what I'm really hoping that this parlays into. Not much chance of that. Okay. Do you well, think that um, that you know the spinoff what they're trying to push? For Tyler and I at yeah. uh, the CW, um, you know Dan and Chris, yeah. I like, actually like the title a lot. Yeah, I think it's. Is, uh, is I get it. I didn't get it at first, and yeah. then I was like, oh Dan, because that's our. So I like it. I think it's good, and it speaks right. to the show. And the fact and they uh, wanted to put um, the kid. Yes, dear. The kid. Chuck. Chuck. Well, what it is is we moved to Boston and become uh, Boston cops. It's like a buddy cop show for the CW. Pops. It's pops, right? Um, There's another title for the name. But I think it's going to do really well. I like that. <laughs> Bops. Uh, okay, Any, anything else you guys want to say about working with each Well, we look forward to season 10. Uh, we hear that, you know, um, you know it's going to be an animated. And we're all going to come in voices. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm excited about that. Do you want season 10? Season 10. <laughs>